Hello everyone, this is Neha Sharma and you are watching video tutorial series of aptitude and reasoning concept. In this series, I will be discussing the concept in three categories. The first one is concept maker in which I will be discussing the basics. The second is concept builder in which I will be discussing the numericals on the topic. And in the third category that is concept enhancer, I will be discussing the tips and tricks to solve the problems orally in the real time scenario. So now I will start with my today's topic. In this video, I will be discussing the problems on ratio and proportion. Okay. Now uh, our problem is uh, there are two containers. The ratio of oil and water in first container is 1 is to 2. And in another container is 1 is to 3. Now if both the containers are emptied, in third container then what will be the ratio between oil and water okay so what do we understand I am going to solve this by two methods will derive conclusion after solving this okay so what the question says it says that there is container 1 and there is container 2 okay and oil is to water ratio is 1 is to 2 in container 1 and 1 is to 3 in container 2. So, what will be the, if we mix both the, uh, con the content of both the containers in container 3, then what will be the <coughs> ratio between oil and water? Okay, what will be the ratio between oil and water? So, what we will do here is, uh, in container 1, the total amount is 3. Okay, out of which uh, we will understand by this by the disc. Okay, there are three parts of the disc. One, two and this is the third part. Okay, so uh, one part of the disc is oil and the rest of the two parts are water. Okay, so... Uh, What we understand here is there are three parts, total three parts and out of which one is oil. Okay. And how much is water? Two is water out of three. Okay. Now in, in container two, uh, one is oil and there are four parts. Okay. Three plus one. Okay. And in uh, container two, there are three by four parts of water. So when we add them. Then we will get 4 plus 3 by 12 and uh, 8. We will take the LCM plus 9 by 12. Okay. So this will become 7 by 12 and this will become 17 by 12. So when we take the ratio, ratio of oil is to water. In the third container, the ratio will be 7 by 12 is to 17 by 12. And the ratio is, okay, uh, 7 is to 17. Now, how we will find 7 is to 17? This, you know, that ratio means division. And, okay, now when we convert this division into multiplication side, sign then the uh, fraction is inverted okay so this fraction will become 12 by 17 so this will get cancelled and it is 7 by 17 okay so uh, now I will draw a conclusion a rule so that if you get this question you can just apply that rule and find because now I think the concept is understood now if we apply the rule directly then there will be no confusion okay so the uh, uh, rule says rule says that if there is container 1 and there is container 2 and oil or water or milk and water whatever is there in the ratio p is to q in one container and R is to S in another container and we mix them and 
in the third container then the ratio the ratio between uh, oil and water in the third container this is oil and this is water in the third container is okay and okay now here we can understand that the ratio is p upon p plus q here also we did 1 plus 2 that is 3 so it was 1 by 3 right so here also it is p upon p plus q we'll add that 2 and we'll divide it by uh, that and now this is r oil and r plus s is the total amount and then uh, uh, q that is here and uh, p plus q is the total and this is s and r plus s okay so this is the rule that in the third container if we uh, mix both of them together then we will get this ratio okay now i would like to solve one question with you on the basis of this okay i'll just keep this rule here only so that it will be easy for you to understand the con uh, con the rule properly okay now the question says that X and Y are two alloys of silver and bronze prepared by mixing the metals in ratio 7 is to 2 and 7 is to 11. What does uh, this say? That there are two alloys X and Y and uh, alloys are the mixture of metals. Okay. So in this X, uh, the uh, uh, there are two metals that is silver and bronze and in Y also there are two metals silver and bronze okay now X uh, in the first X alloy the ratio is 7 is to 2 and in the second alloy the ratio is 7 is to 11 okay till here it is uh, clear now uh, if equal quantities of alloy are mixed to form alloy Z okay now these are mixed to form alloy Z then the ratio of silver and bronze in Z will be. Okay. So how we will find this now? Now according to this formula. 7 is P. This is Q. This is R. And this is S. Okay. So we will apply this formula directly. Okay. Now uh, P is 7. 7 upon P plus Q is 9. Plus uh, R that is 7. Upon R plus S is 18. And uh, this is what? This is silver. Okay. And this is bronze. What we are finding here is silver. And this is bronze in Z. Okay. Now this bronze is R. That is uh, 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 R is 7. Sorry, 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 sorry. Q that is 2 upon 9 plus s that is uh, 11 upon 18 okay so when we solve this this will be 18 and this will be 14 plus 7 is 21 is 2 this is again 18 the lcm is 18 and this is 4 plus this is 15 okay so uh, these will be cancelled this is 5 3 5s are, 3 6s are, 3 7s are, 3 6s are. Okay. So, here, the answer is, uh, silver is to bronze is, 7 by 6 is to 5 by 6. So it is 7 is to 5. Okay. So I think now this concept is clear to you. You just have to remember this. Or if you can't remember this formula, you have to remember how we derived this formula. Okay. So I will be telling you more such uh, tricks to solve the problems faster. So stay connected. So we are done with the lesson. 
If you find the video helpful, then give a thumbs up and share the video with your friend. Every Friday, I will be uploading more videos. So stay connected and subscribe to the channel. If you want notes and worksheets, just click here and go to my blog for the notes. If you have any doubt, you can comment or mail me. So all the best, study well, score well and thank you so much.